35 years divided the two deaths of maybe I would say the most influential men for Italian automotive and motorsport industry back in the last uh, century. One of those two deaths occurred uh, unluckily today, 11th of August, back in 1953. And so, as a tribute to all the heroes, to the most important pillars of Italian and not only Italian, automotive, motorsport uh, roots, uh, today I wanted to tribute to the great Tazio Nuvolari a very short and special appointment after finding uh, on the web uh, a 1937 mod for GTR2. Maybe it is there, out there, since ages and I just didn't know. So welcome back on Nike's Racing, welcome back also on the theme tributes that have stopped after discovering that the majority of interest of the Tom Price tribute video made in my poor with my poor English was uh, having spikes just on uh, images regarding the crash of Tom Price, the moment of the death of Tom Price. With the respect I owe to original drivers, families and friends of those heroes, I've stopped almost two years ago to produce tributes in that way. So today you will just read on the screen uh, some notions, some informations about uh, the tributed driver or car or situation, moment, track or whatever, when I will feel uh, in comfort to do it. And I think that tributing 70 years after Tazio Nuvolari passed away was nice maybe with a short uh, race uh, themed possibly with what was the 37 Grand Prix era to a driver that was uh, maybe the most influential, the most important and mo maybe also the most successful because he has won in particular manners demonstrating uh, bravery, demonstrating uh, commitment, demonstrating and inventing almost uh, skills that were not common in that period. So welcome back everybody, thank you very much for being here also today. We will have a short, strange, out of my usual period for motorsport themed episode. It will be a once in a lifetime I suppose and uh, will be just an excuse to race alongside great drivers today especially remembering Tazio Nuvolari that died 70 years ago. So let's go immediately on track and uh, we will see together what uh, we will face today. Oh, I forgot we are on Brooklyn, the race circuit with multiple layout version available, versions plural available. Uh, I did choose a uh, let me say and allow me to choose uh, like this a compromised version between oval and driven area of Brooklyn just uh, to have something different uh, in our hands let's go to race And before going to race I just wanted to introduce very quickly the class 1937 GPL that is uh, something coming from Trackaholics and Stars organization.org website if it is still active I don't know I have found this mod on the race department and uh, inside you cannot find I mean multi classes different cars what I have found is an Alfa Romeo year 37 for that period also auto union uh, or in german maybe should be pronounced auto union maybe very similar to an italian uh, read uh, version that was uh, i would say the company before creating audi era 
a British uh, constructor that unluckily disappeared nowadays, but there was also an official car from that producer. Fighting against Maserati, absolutely another Italian pillar for uh, the last century about racing cars. They will face a Mercedes W125 coming still from that era, well known before the explosion of the World War II. Also I have found a Morgan Supersport, nice three wheels race car with maybe, for what I remember, two cylinders coming from a motorcycles world. But as you can see from the logo on the bodywork of the car, there is a Scuderia Ferrari emblem because the material of Alfa Romeo after the first successes of the 20s and the 30s was completely given to Enzo Ferrari and so the Alfa Romeo material was running under Scuderia Ferrari name of Enzo Ferrari and Scuderia Ferrari that will come to our screen very soon in the next days but uh, so far so good this is the tiny six types of cars available today. The circuit will be the Brooklands Campbell that unluckily hasn't a map, but no problem about it. It will be just a 10 laps race with a standing start, 20 opponents. We will be the 21st. We will raise the number 28, helping maybe Tazio Volare to win another race in his uh, great and almost infinite Palmare. It will be more a fun race just to have a, an excuse to talk about maybe the greatest Italian race driver of the past and maybe of the Italian history of uh, Italian drivers as a whole. Here we are. Names keep an eye on the car number 44, the Alfa Romeo like the 46 we have here on the left. I haven't seen uh, the starting uh, green lights or green flag, but everybody started. I started two. Ten laps on the Brooklands racetrack in the Campbell version. Driven but not too much because there is a great portion on uh, the oval, the bank, and uh, on straight we can unleash all the power of the Alfa Romeo. It is not the most powerful car because back then Auto Union, nowadays Audi and Mercedes had more funds from the Nazi government to actually invest into technology, so honestly they were more than advantage compared to privateers or small manufacturers like Alfa Romeo, like Maserati, that didn't have any help from the government. And even if the low percentage, the low sorry percentage of uh, the investment from the Nazi government was almost nothing, despite the reception, despite uh, many other problems, for the Nazi government was keen to, the most important was to demonstrate that their cars were superior, that honestly was not difficult given that instead of Romeo stopped activities and did left everything to Enzo Ferrari, who founded the Scuderia Ferrari, before becoming a proper constructor. And so the history says that Tazio Nuvolari and Enzo Ferrari started to know each other as drivers, as contenders in the 20s. A 
And it's a Ferrari was absolutely shocked by Tazio Nuvolare because of his braveness, because of his uh, driving techniques that nowadays are absolutely very known and common if we talk about rally drivers but back then was a pure act of braveness to run come on Tazio this type of cars and not only to the limit surviving and then winning and Tazio did it so many times that was absolutely a sort of modern Michael Schumacher or Ayrton Senna for the capabilities of uh, winning with every type of car, every type of race. Obviously we were not there so mythology and real facts are just based on uh, journals of the era and formal uh, results coming from uh, the mother of the FIA that back then organized the uh, races and championship and obviously in that period the Grand Prix the Grand Prize was uh, something that defined an era where uh, men had to demonstrate that cars were better than horses and so the grand prize, the Grand Prix so I move this I don't know why they are slowing down but we follow Tazio currently first and so yes the Grand Prix was uh, an amount of money destined to who was the winner and the best classified list of drivers at every race. Formula One would have not been a reality until 1950 with a proper drivers championship and up to 58 with a proper constructor championship. And so back then it was a sort of a formula libre, free formula, call it as you, as you like, where uh, who had money, sorry, who had money, singular, was uh, more uh, in advantage position, in an advantage position. The more you had, the more you could invest, the more you could uh, find the technical solutions, pay best drivers and so on, best technicians and so on. And before the Second World War the Nazi government was preparing basically a war and to do it had more money, more technicians, more technology, more materials and so on. Nonetheless, Tazio Nuvolari, after becoming an Italian champion for motorbikes environment, at a certain point decided to become a race car driver. In the first years was a common uh, contender also for Enzo Ferrari where Enzo Ferrari was still a driver, a professional driver and once uh, Enzo Ferrari decided to become a car producer and prior to that in the 40s in the 30s take the Alfa Romeo material raise the Alfa Romeo material as a Scuderia Ferrari with his name had many great drivers 
but the most considered one, the most winning one, actually in the Stazio Nicolai. They used to call him uh, the Flying Mantuan, I mean someone coming from the city of Mantova, flying like uh, more than a, quicker than a bird, except in this uh, mod where in Brooklyn they all uh, slow down here on the starting grid like if they were taking the pit stop speed. Sorry, it's a bug not known. And so Tazio was capable to win on two wheels, on four wheels. He won the 24 hours of Le Mans. He won the Targa Florio. He won the Mille Miglia. He was also the European champion for Grand Prix cars. There were, I don't know, 20, 30 races per year under the name Grand Prix. But just uh, a couple of them sometimes four, sometimes seven, sometimes five, were counted for the European title. And Tatsu won uh, all of them. Won some crazy Mille Miglia or Targa Florio editions running uh, by night without using the front headlights. And sneaking then the victory the last lap or the last kilometers, the last moment of that edition. Oops, almost touched the Mercedes. Yes, here they get into the speed limit, I think. He won uh, using a mechanical key instead of the steering wheel, because the steering wheel was broken. He won with every type of car. He raced also for German cars where money were higher and he had uh, an argument with Enzo Ferrari in a certain period. And uh, luckily the Second World War provoked by Nazis stopped motorsport activities. And after the war, anyway, Tatsu Nivolari came back winning a hill climb uh, race for what I remember being already 50 years old almost. But despite this was considered as absolutely a modern ace that I think 170 years today after his death but almost one century after all the epic races he did we are still uh, here considering him an absolute ace, a genius, someone who raised the bar about uh, motorsport, about uh, racing techniques, about everything I would say. And we may say that he died peacefully in his bed. I initially almost paralyzed with half of the body due to a, an ictus, if you call it so. And then a final stroke ended his life in 1953, being just 60 years old but far from motorsport environment and I remember reading the book of Enzo Ferrari Piloti che gente drivers as an exclamation is like drivers what a kind of people and uh, there was a late uh, 
meeting encounter between Enzo Ferrari and Tazio Nuvolari in the late years of Tazio where Tazio said uh, at the end uh, we are here uh, in the worst part of our let's wait for Tazio in the worst part of our lives because uh, we raced we did many fights we had uh, arguments we had uh, issues we had uh, great moments as racing drivers we had uh, crashes we risked to die actually but the, the dilemma the, the problem the issue the, the other face of the coin is that we risk everything we had for motorsport for racing we risk to die like many of our friends and in reality instead we will die in our beds you and the ferrari lost uh, a son you lost uh, your father you lost your brother you lost your wife you lost everything and for Tazio life was not easy in a way especially from a health point of view and I do remember on this book almost uh, if not crying in a, way, in a way feeling a bit of empathy and a bit of sadness for uh, Tazio the flying month one because uh, Yes, there is a museum today, there is a statue for him, there are many books, many witnesses declare that maybe he was the greatest of all times, given also the type of period he raised. But still, not all the prizes, all the cups, all the money, all the fame, in some way paid back Tazio of accepting not to die on a race car while doing what he loved but just dying in a bed in his bed at, a, at an old age and really is something they cannot say I can understand entirely because in theory you should be happy to see your child uh, grow, grow up, have a family, have different interests, but this type of uh, racers I think was something that we haven't seen uh, anymore, especially nowadays with modern Formula One or modern racers more occupied to have a good picture on social than just racing for the sake of racing and for who lived in the last century faced two world wars The freedom coming from a, a race car was something more than just a pure uh, hobby or a distraction, like for me in this moment, sorry. I finished third on a crazy race where anyway Tazio Nuvolari won, sorry for the mistake at the end Clemente Biondetti second with the other Alfa Romeo we finished third after 10 laps, nothing special but what a... what a fight at least with myself to properly race a bit this uh, dinosaur 
And yes, I still think racers like Tatsuno Volari, Juan Manuel Fangio, Mike Hofer were a different breed compared to nowadays. I can only recognize that spirit in uh, Sterling Moss, Jackie Stewart, Jim Clark, Graham Hill, Peter Collins, Peter Collins. Luigi Musso, sure. Eugenio Castellotti, sure. Ludovico Scarfiotti, Lorenzo Bandini. Racers that were waiting just uh, a call from uh, Enzo Ferrari or from uh, whatever was the car builder. And for them maybe it was just uh, a matter of racing as much as possible every Sunday, not only for the money, but especially for uh, what meant to be a racer. Okay, apart from uh, what is the congratulation you finished in the top three, absolutely, uh, I would say almost a fake uh, accomplishment, given that they were all uh, slowing down for a bug, I think, on the main straight. But I am happy that we can see another, once more, I would say, a Tazio Nuvolari name at the top of the field, where he deserved his entire life absolutely to stay. He made the great Alfa Romeo, Auto Union, Scuderia Ferrari, and not only. He made uh, the difference between uh, sometimes winning and losing, sometimes also risking to lose life, but still, something really special from a man that was, I think, born to do the driver in the best way that we can uh, even think back in the old days, at the beginning of motorsport uh, adventure. You have seen some notes, informations and pictures here around. was a tentative to do a different type of tribute compared to the past because I don't want anymore to rely on tragic moments, tragic pictures, tragic stories, tragic details to make a tribute. Maybe it is a less better version of a tribute. I don't care, I will not use anymore without knowing tragic details or tragic uh, pictures like for Tom Price and I take the opportunity to apologize with the family of Tom Price and uh, the friends of Tom Price but I didn't know that sometimes uh, the YouTube population is, uh, let me say, combined with good people like us here on Aikis Racing Community, like me, and maybe they look for the spike of the tragic moment of the death. There is also a channel that just uh, features tragic moments, tragic deaths, uh, heavy images. It's a choice. My choice is uh, to talk um, about history, my choice is about uh, maybe stimulate a bit a conversation, but for sure not taking advantage of tragic uh, losses and tragic things. So that being said, a bit of notions, a bit of, uh, let me say, information and uh, storytelling if you allow me to do to say so about uh, an ace a great racer an incredible fine-tuned race driver capable to do the impossible and so ferrari used to say that the only driver that did remind him tazio nuvolari was gilles villeneuve for the braveness for the courage for uh, the attitude to always go over the limit of the car, of the situation, of the environment, of the contenders. And I think, uh, personally, I was not there 100 years ago to attend races or to read uh, a magazine. The one thing I remember from my grandfather 
it was a full enthusiast and full passionate person about soccer, Tazio Nuvolari was uh, the name. If uh, I had uh, questions about uh, racing drivers, motorsport in general, Tazio Nuvolari was also the paragon because he had the opportunity to live in that period and uh, on uh, whatever magazine you could read about soccer, you could read about motorbikes, racing cars, etc. But for what he was uh, telling me when I was a child, he was almost a brand himself because of everything he did and he accomplished in that period. So I hope uh, this different way to prepare tributes will uh, give you at least a bit of curiosity and interest. On he will be always remembered as uh, the first real ace of different periods with different machinery, different type of races, closed circuits, open circuits, road races and so on. As before mentioned, maybe it's a bit sad that he died in his bed instead of the way he desired to die, so while driving a race car, like many friends of him and them did back in the days. But still, uh, maybe was uh, this type of destiny that was waiting and uh, as you know, the universe designs things even when uh, we don't know. And uh, when we don't know, is there something that we will learn and understand afterwards? So I would say that that's it for the moment. It has been a honor and a pleasure to bring on this channel, on our community, your community, the Nike is Racing channel, something different maybe. There aren't many mods available to actually race uh, this period. There's something for Assetto Corsa, F1 Challenge, Valerio Bertolotti Edition, I know it is uh, adding or maybe just added the pre-war second world war era with many cars uh, translated from r factor for assetto corsa gtr f1 challenge for the easy engine overall but uh, today i have found this specific on tazio volari maybe in the future we will find something else but i would say after 70 years since uh, passed away I just say thank you to Tazio Nuvolari to Mr. Tazio Nuvolari for the stories he made for what he accomplished as a young child it was a pure pleasure to listen to my grandfather talking about Tazio Nuvolari as soon as I started to be capable to read I went to many libraries bibliotheques to find materials on when I was a child it was not really easy nowadays with internet is a bit easier and uh, if you have time space and curiosity just take the opportunity to read a bit about how was being a race driver 100 years ago and not all we will see each other with another tribute very soon about Enzo Ferrari that died uh, 35 years ago, exactly in half an amount of time compared to Tazio Nuvolari on the 14th of August 1988. I hope that tragic moments, tragic endings can become a point of paragon and maybe can become a, a point of view to look in the distance something greater that will never happen anymore but thanks to the fact that happened actually does give still nowadays a proper sense to what is motorsport what is human courage braveness to what is uh, the meaning behind uh, achievements and especially all of them are in my opinion a race a fight first of all against each other against us and when you raise the bar as a race driver as a technician as an engineer as a car producer as a human being i think 
we accomplish something more than just a trophy, just a race, just a win, just a, a championship or a title. And this is, I think, the leftover that Tatsu Nuvolari not only gifted people, despite not being uh, still with us. So again, thank you very much for watching. Stay very well, stay into Kin Racing. Thank you for what you did so far. Likes, subscriptions. Akis Racing if is free and always will be. And see you very soon, again, all together, on the Akis Racing community that thanks to you is and I hope will become a great place to share and live together memories from motorsport, from Marco, from Monza and from the virtual Brooklyn with this bug of slowing down cars on the start finish line like if they were in the pit. Maybe we will fix it for future episodes and themes, who knows. But that's all. Thank you very much again. Stay very well. And best wishes to you and to your beloved. Ciao. See you very soon. And thanks to Tazio Nuvolari.